Raspberry Pi have just released a new bootloader for the Pi 5. This new version they have added in network install feature. In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly check what version you are running and how to update it if you are running the older version. Network install is very useful if you just want to set up a fresh SD card and you don't want to use a second computer to download the Pi OS and flash it to the SD card. You can set up a new card directly with the Pi 5 and a network connection over Ethernet. Firstly you need to make sure your Pi OS is fully up to date. To do that open terminal and in the usual way we're going to check for any updates. Type sudo apt update. As you can see my Pi is fully up to date. If your Pi has found updates you can install them by typing sudo apt all upgrade dash y. Once your Pi is fully up to date I'd recommend just doing a restart on the Pi if it's found any updates. Now we can check what bootloader EEPROM version you are currently using. To do this type sudo rpi dash eprom dash update space dash a all the commands will be in the description below as you can see i've already updated my bootloader to the latest version this is the version number that features the network install if your bootloader was not up to date then current would be a different date from the latest if your Pi is showing your current is older than the latest, then you need to apply the update. You can do this in terminal, but I prefer to use the config file as it's suggesting to do here. So all we need to type is sudo raspi-config, hit return, scroll down to the advance, Scroll down to bootloader version and then we have the option here to use the latest version of the bootloader. So you do that, select the first option and it tells you that the bootloader will be updated and it tells you the latest version is going to be selected and installed when you next reboot. So you need to apply that and do a reboot. And then we come out of here and finish and this will do the reboot. Okay so my Pi is now rebooted so let's check that has been applied. In my case it has but you would check by typing the same command again sudo rpi eprom update dash a and you'll just confirm that the current and latest are the same versions. If they are, then your Pi is fully up to date with the latest bootloader. So now we can go and check what the network install screen looks like for the Pi 5. I'm going to shut down and remove the SD card to force it into that mode. So here we are in the network install window. At this stage it's telling us to hold down the shift key, make sure you have an ethernet cable connected. And now it's downloading the installer. This will just behave like the Raspberry Pi imager. And that's finished loading and now we have a screen that looks very much like the Raspberry Pi imager and we can select and choose the OS that you want to install in the same way you would with the Pi Imager and then you would insert an SD card or USB stick or an external USB hard drive uh, which would appear here I have nothing currently plugged in then you would install in the normal way and flash the SD card or the external drive as normal and that's it for this simple tutorial. I hope you have found it useful. If you would like to see more Pi related tutorials, please leave some suggestions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.